Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooks. So today is episode five of our product reviews. Today we are working with Tunisian hooks. I am so excited about these. So Tunisian has been one of my favorite things for the past about year now, a little over that. But there are so many different types of Tunisian hooks. There's plastic, there's metal, there's bamboo, there's all different kinds. So we're gonna go through, it'll probably end up being a series, but today we're gonna work with the Denise interchangeable ones. I'm super stoked about these. I haven't even opened them yet. You don't know how hard this has been. So I got these ones, we're gonna try them out today. I'm really excited about it. Um, we had a couple different people in our members group ask if we had any reviews on Tunisian hooks because we do have a Tunisian masterclass that you can get if you're one of our members for the magazine. So that information is in the description below to sign up to be a part of our magazine. Um, but I'm really excited about this. So we're gonna open these up, test them and see, see what we think. All right, here's the moment I've been waiting for. We are testing these Denise interchangeable crochet hooks. So they have locking connections. There's 12 hook sizes. So this goes from a 3.75 to 15 millimeters. There's seven different cords in here and it's travel friendly which makes me really excited about it. So we're gonna open it up because this will fit right in my my namaste backpack or bag that I have as I hit the camera. All right, oh this is super cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, so we've got the pieces here, hook sizes over here, um, and it's got the letters and the millimeters, so that's really nice. Got the ends, so your yarn doesn't pop off. All right, let's see. And we'll try a 5.5 millimeter. Does this just go? How does this work? Am I missing something? Doesn't have instructions with it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, they just twist in here. Got it. Maybe. All right, I think we figured it out. Maybe. I'm not sure. Trying to see if there's anything in the instructions. Twist one quarter turn to securely lock. That's the only instruction that it has, but this end keeps popping off. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's better. I. This is on the back, and this is the only instruction that it has to put together. So I missed that. That would be on me. All right, so let's grab some yarn really quick. And we will test it out. Move this out of the way.
All right, so first thing, the, this is smooth. Like, these are smooth hooks. Oh my goodness. Let's see how it comes when we come off of it. Yeah, okay. These are magical. Okay, so as you can see, if my camera wants to focus for me, these slide beautifully, beautifully. There's no snagging, there's no pulling on the yarn. So like I said, this is a mid-priced set of hooks. Um, yeah, the ends come right off, those come right off. But they don't come off if you, like, you saw how I was sliding my yarn all over the place. They just snap right back into their little homes. Put those back in there. And then it just closes right up. Look at that! Okay, so, yes, I vote 110% yes on this. Obviously, it was my fault that I didn't know where the instructions were because I just got so excited to open up this box. Um, but yes, when it comes to these crochet hooks, I recommend them. Um, I am going to try out a couple other sets of crochet hooks, uh, Tunisian hooks, and find out um, which one I like the best. But this so far is my baby. I love these. Um, I got the pastel set. I thought they were really cute. And five dollars goes to, um, I believe it's, let me make sure, um, Ireland Cancer Research Fund for breast cancer. Yeah, five dollars of your purchase goes to the breast cancer research through the SD Ireland Cancer Research Fund. So that's pretty cool. And these are 100% US made. Um, they're in Virginia. So I'm really excited. We are gonna, we're gonna play around with these a bit more, um, test them out with other types of yarn, other projects. You'll probably see these in my yarn review videos because if I have anything like fuzzy yarn or um, textured yarn, I want to see how these will work in them as well. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And then if you have any other set of Tunisian hooks, um, whether they are bamboo, metal, plastic, um, budget brands, more expensive brands in the middle, whatever, just let me know and that way I can test them out for you and we can try these out together. Alright, just leave me a comment below. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next week.